So in 5.1, we introduced probabilities. So now we're going to go over some rules of probability. So some formulas and some rules. Um, so let's start with ands and ors. So in English, ands and ors are kind of feel like such minor words, um, but they make a big difference for probability. So the word and is the probability um, that both events occur. So if you think about a filter, when you Google something, right, it's a filter, right? You're trying to get both things to happen. So visually in a Venn diagram, it's the overlap, the part they have in common. It's both need to happen. Um, and or just means you'd be satisfied with either. So either one happens and maybe both happen, maybe one happens. So you'd be happy with A, which is the whole A circle, or B. So maybe you're shopping for a t-shirt and you'd be happy with a blue or green, right? But it doesn't have to be both colors. So either or. So for A or B to happen, just at least one has to happen. At least one means both could happen, right? But at least one of them does. So let's see what that looks like for a deck of cards. So we already looked at this example, but we're gonna add some ands and ors. So we're gonna look at C and D, which means the probability of a spade and a face card. So I'll color code them. So we'll do spades in green. So spades was this entire row. And then a face card was anything with a face. So all of the jack, queens, and kings are face cards. And then we learned just now that and is the overlap. What do they have in common? So they only have these three in common. So it would be three out of the entire deck of 52. So it's the ones that I highlighted in both colors. So three out of 52 gives me 0 0.0577. The ores are actually, I think, the trickier ones. So we'll do spades or face. Again, it's out of the total deck of 52. And then or just means we'd be happy with either. So spades, how many spades are there? So there were 13 spades right here. And then we'll just add what's new. So I'm gonna add the face cards that I haven't counted yet. So I'm not gonna add these three because I already counted them with the spades. So there'd be nine new face cards. So yes, there are 12 face cards, but three of them were already counted. So don't double count them. The tricky thing about or problems is being careful not to double count the overlap. They've already been counted, so don't count them twice. So 13 plus nine gives me 22, and we'll divide that by 52. 0.42. Three, one. It'll round up to one. So do not double count the overlap. This is why ors are challenging. And I think ands are actually easier. So be extra careful not to double count. So we'll do one more in this video. Um, so this is called a two-way table. Um, it goes two ways. We have, we're looking at health insurance coverage based on region. So here's the health insurance coverage and here's the region. We have like a variable on each side. It's called a two-way table. Um, and so we're gonna find probabilities. So as we find probabilities, we'll start to understand how this table works. Um, but the bottom corner is like the total of my sample. Um, I have the total uninsured and the total insured and then broken down into regions. And then I also have the total for each region broken down into insured or not. 
So let's just do examples to make sense of this. So we want to do the probability that someone is uninsured. So I'm going to go to the table. It looks like 45,305 are uninsured out of the 29 for the total. 290,710. So we'll go ahead and take that, divide, write ugly numbers, that's fine. We get 0.1558. So about 15% chance, but 0.1558. We like decimal form. Cool. Um, let's do probability that someone is from the West. So it's still out of 290,710. The total hasn't changed, but now we're looking at people from the west. So here's the west. We're going to go all the way over to the total for 67,103. And we'll divide. And we get a 0 0.2308 chance, about 23%, a little over. All right, let's see how the ands and ors work, and then we'll take a little break. Northeast and uninsured. So I like to color code these if you have that option. So I'm gonna highlight Northeast in pink, and then we'll do orange for uninsured. And then we're finding the and event. So and is the overlap. What number do they have in common? So just the 6782. So there's 6,782 people who fit both categories. They're in the Northeast and they're uninsured out of the total of 290710. And I'm just going to divide on the side. You guys can do this. Oh, two, three, three, just a 2% chance. So and means overlap. All right, and our final one is an or. I think ors are much more challenging because you have to just worry about those overlaps and not double counting them. So I'm gonna just clear this and we'll re-highlight. All right, so let's do the south. This one's lighter. So we'll highlight the south. And then insured. So insured would be this row. And then the total hasn't changed. So it's still out of 290710. So the or is either or. So it might be tempting to take the totals, but the problem is, is that middle one gets double counted. So I'm actually going to ignore the totals for the most part. Um, so we're basically just adding all these, these five boxes. So you can add those five up. Um, one option is you could take the total for insured, so you've already counted all of those. And then when you add the south, you only add the 19,000. Um, you don't add the total because 85,000 has already been counted. So it kind of depends what makes the most sense to you. For some of you, it might be easier to just add these five boxes. That visually makes the most sense. Um, for others, it might make sense to take the total, cross that row off, and then just add what's new. So I'm going to add um, the 245405. And then I'm only going to add 19,090 because some of the south has already been counted. So this is insured. And then what's new in the south? So go ahead and add those two numbers. I'm actually going to pull the calculator up to show you we could get there multiple ways. So 245405 plus 19090. 
we get 264495 all out of the total. The total is not changing, and we get a probability of about 0 0.9098. So if you had tried some of the other methods, I just want to show you we get the same number. So if I had added the five boxes instead, because that made more sense to me, um, maybe you want to avoid the totals because you just don't want to accidentally double count. All right, we get the same number by adding the five boxes. A few of you might have noticed I could actually take these two numbers so if I take the two totals, it is incorrect, but I could subtract the 85800 because it was double counted and you'll get the same number. So just do what makes sense to you. Those are all like three different ways of getting the same thing. Um, if one of those made no sense, do it the other way, right? There's three options, your choice. I'll see you back in the next video.